Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have Georgia. Hi! As I told you on my green classic flap unboxing that we were gonna film a couple of videos together because we have a lot of fun filming. It is usually only me here and I really like having other people to chat a little bit more. So we came up with a fun video idea and it's gonna be rebuilding our handbag collection. Like we're gonna choose 10 bags and we don't have any budget. It's um, anything that you want, no limits, but you need to choose only 10 bags and there's categories for every bag. So it's very interesting because we haven't really discussed the bags that we would pick each other. So I'm very curious to see if we're very, very different on what we would choose or quite similar. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Woohoo! If you're new to my channel, my name is Lou, and I make videos about handbags, shoes, traveling, but mainly handbags, so we love handbags here. Yes, and do. this is Georgia. Hi! So if you're new, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell down below so don't miss any of my videos, but also consider subscribing to Georgia's yes, channel. Yes, my channel too. Yes, she does videos <laughs> about handbags too, and I really, really love having her here, so I'm pretty sure that you guys are gonna like her too. So we're gonna rebuild our handbag collection from scratch. Let's imagine that we don't have any single bag, something happened, of course. Of course, this never happens. But imagine that something God happened. For God forbid! It happened and you have the funds. Like someone gives you the funds to oh, start over. Yes. Yeah. So I said for God forbid, but that's a negative way. So it's in Jesus' name. <laughs> I don't it's know. going to happen. <laughs> So we have to fill certain categories for each bag. So we're gonna have work bag, everyday bag, going out bag. So let's see which one do we choose. And it's gonna be 10 bags. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so the first category is gonna be um, like, if it happened, which bag would be the first one that you would run and rebuy? Just like the first bag that comes into your mind. No budget, that's the thing. No budget. So the first one that would come into your mind is... All right, so if I had no budget and there was one bag that I could run and get it, there mm. was no limitations, I would go for a black Birkin 25 gold hardware. Yes. <laughs> so mine... That one. <laughs> so mine would actually be the gold Birkin 25. That would be the first bag that I would run and re-get because I'm on the honeymoon phase with that bag. And if I were to lose it right now, I would be very, very sad. I mean, it's a material thing, so it's not that serious. Yeah. But if I had to go and rebuy one first, it would probably be that one because... I would be heartbroken if I missed it. But definitely I would be struggling between the black and the gold because both are amazing bags. I'm shocked that you would go for a Virgin and not a Kelly though. I, I'd never well, expect that from it's you. it's because it's harder to get. So if I don't have limitations, no nothing, that's the one. That and I sense. have the Kelly down the list. I didn't want to choose two because if I can get ten... Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, don't want to choose two the same because then it becomes nine. I mean, ten is an amazing amount of bags. So I'm being very generous in this video, but I wanted to make it more fun. Yeah. We, we could have gone with five, but ten is more fun. But yeah, definitely I would go for the gold version and you would go for the black one. Yeah, well, you understand that down the road I'm yeah. going to choose the Kelly, so... Yeah, I know, I know. So the second bag, it would be an everyday bag. Something that you're going to use most days we're gonna have two everyday bags but first we're gonna choose one okay which one would be yours mine would be what do you think it is a 19 bag yeah it is a 19 <laughs> black bag okay in which size small small okay mine would be of course a black classic flap in lambskin with gold hardware in the medium size it surprises me you choose the lambskin for every day because it's sensitive but you kind of know how to take care of it like. i mean lambskin is I my favorite I, know. I don't know i already have a togo bag which would be my birkin yeah yeah so having a lambskin bag and it's not that hard to take care of I it i took it with me to paris and to barcelona and it was perfect. how was fun. it it was good yeah it was perfect not one scratch and if you get a scratch you can always buff it out with your finger or sometimes even with your sweater, you always like to do this. Now, a pro tip for lambskin is you can always get, guys, very careful, of course, it's luxury, a hair dryer, um, oh, yeah. heat it up a little bit. I'm a little bit scared of that though. But you can do it. I've okay. done it, it works. Okay. So you hair dry it in the, in the place, let it soften up a little bit and buff it out. Of course, you're not gonna burn your bag, right? You're gonna do it with just a little bit. It works. I've seen that some people even use a steamer, but very, very far away. Okay, so I've not just be careful. Yeah. Yes, be careful. You don't want to take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> you don't want to ruin your ten thousand yeah, dollars bag and then blame on loose video. I know. <laughs> so we have no responsibility in case you ruin your bag. This is our advice. Yes. <laughs> so the third bag is gonna be another everyday bag. So you have two options between you the nineteen bag and me the classic flap. And I would actually go for a nineteen bag. That's so funny because mine is a classic flap. <laughs> so we just flipped them. Oh, but I would choose a caviar gold hardware. Okay. Yeah. In yeah. black. In black. That's so funny. We're literally flipped. <laughs> I know. That's so funny. I don't know. We 
which color I would go for the 19 bag though because I already have gold and I already have black so either one of those colors is fine by me but I mean the caramel could be too the caramel could be too but the Oreo yeah oh yeah I oh, love so that pretty. bag I, yes. I would miss that one if it went away so bad I really love that bag you got it from Red Deluxe? I know <laughs> So the next bag is gonna be a travel bag. A bag that you're gonna use on the plane, train, car rides, whatever. Which one would you choose? I chose one. This is such a funny question because okay. whenever you send me this list, I was really wanting to get this. I already thinking about it. Okay. It's the XL Classic Flag. Oh my god, it didn't come into my mind. I but love I would that bag. Oh my gosh. I actually chose the a leather Deville. Uh-huh. But now that you say it, I You can switch. That's okay. I let you, I let you choose. Okay, I'll, okay, okay. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. So we, we can we can be twins. Yeah, yeah, we can okay, be twins. I would probably go for the next XL too. Oh, I really want one. I know, me too. I because we before we came to visit Lou, we were traveling, and I was like, I really wish I had this bag right now. I know, and it's so chic and so pretty, so nice. and a massive classic flap just looks so. I know, like my dream. It looks like so dreamy. I, I agree. <laughs> I glad I'm glad we agree on that. Yeah, and it's funny because I didn't think about it when I was answering to the list, and I chose the Deville bed. I think that if I had to only get ten, I don't know. I need to think about it, but both of them are strong contenders. Yes. You you can be between, that's okay. Yeah. This is not a very serious list, so <laughs> you can have doubt. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so next bag is gonna be a work bag. I know that you don't have an office job. I know. But imagine that you have like some big investors and you need to come up with a very boss babe um, formal outfit. Yeah, yeah. Like you need a formal bag for sometimes some settings. Yeah. So I'm curious which one would you use? Yeah. So I basically never wear very uh, like formal outfits, but if I I had you, I would go with a Kelly 28. Kelly 28? Yeah. Like, like this one. A uh, vintage too? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I'm, I'm copying. And you know, I've been. So I have a 25. After seeing her bag, I'm yeah. thinking on selling my 25 and going for this one. Because she has a return 25 in Togo, so it's a little bit slouchy. I, I really love it. I love her bag. But I understand that you want Salier because it's a little bit more structured. Yeah. So I understand why you want to go for the for this one. And it and honestly, it's an amazing bag. I love it. And I, I wouldn't do the... I didn't I doesn't need to fit a computer on my work bag because I work for my phone. So True. That's what I thought. I would choose something that I don't have and I would maybe go for a Birkin 35 would have a casual but very chic look and it would fit probably a computer if I wanted to but it fits everything else and I would probably go for black or a neutral color definitely it kind of surprises me because last time we did a video you thought the 30 was too big but I guess it's because mm. you want something big enough for to be a work bag yeah exactly I, I mean I think that the 30 is an amazing size and I think that the 25 is the best size for me but I'm not talking about a bag to go shopping I'm just okay, talking about something sense. where I need to, to take work. my agenda and yeah. everything that I need. So I think that the 35 would be an amazing size. Good choice. I like it. Now we're gonna go for a night out bag. I don't go out that much, but I definitely <laughs> love. I definitely love going for dinners and yes, stuff like yes, that. Yeah, that's what I thought you. Yeah, like dinner night yes. out, something fancy. Yes. Maybe going to I don't know. I don't go to galas or anything like that. But when you move to Europe, you will. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna go to fancier stuff when yes. I move. So I was thinking about choosing a bag for those types of events or situations. Would love to know which one would you choose. Okay, so I have this bag and I'm gonna send you a picture so we okay. can post it in, in the profile. But this is something with gold. I really like something with gold. You can post it right there. Yeah, let I'm me gonna explain play it why. Video. Because it, it needs to be big enough to fit my phone, but yeah. not too big because then let's say if I have a wedding, that would be a really pretty bag for wedding or um, just like, I don't know, I like gold because I always wear gold jewelry. Yeah. Um, so I think a gold bag for my night out is perfect option. I agree. I think that's a perfect bag okay, for you. Awesome. I like if I had no budget or anything and I could get it, I would definitely go for a mini Kelly. Yeah, that's a mini Kelly would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I I agree with you. I, I just I have this idea that I would use it so much because it's so oh, small yeah, yeah. and it has a crossbody strap and it's also quite formal. So yeah. Yeah, that's a I great love a mini I Kelly. love a mini Kelly too. I actually, in the hotel that was, there was a lady wearing one. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen people with a mini Kelly. Like, I met up with a friend in Barcelona and she had one. And I wanted to ask her if I could grab the bag. But, I, you know, you don't grab <laughs> someone else's bag. So I just that's didn't. Funny. But I definitely wanted to. Yeah. So, talking about that, when you go out, is that the first thing that you notice in someone's, what they're wearing, their bag they're wearing? Not really. Like, I notice it 
after but you know Polo does talk about the if we are like if we're walking around and if Polo sees a burger he's like did you see that burger and I'm like yeah I saw it <laughs> it's literally the first thing that I noticed yeah the other day when we were at a restaurant having dinner I saw this girl with a velvet Gucci marmot mm -hmm. and it was a purple velvet bag it was so 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 pretty and I really liked it and I do get like sort of influenced when I see those and I'm like what if I got a very fun velvety marmot bag because I love the Gucci yeah, marmot yeah so I don't know I think that that seeing it on other people also makes me want things. I agree. And I saw the Kelly multiple times when we were traveling and I definitely want one now. That's nice. But yeah. it's very hard to get. Yeah, very hard to get. So the next bag is also another formal night out bag because you need to have options. I would definitely go for my Toy Lulu, but maybe I would get it in leather instead of velvet because it catches a lot of lint, especially from Masha. You oh, but it, you looked really cute yesterday with your velvet. Uh, yeah, I, I love that it. bag. I think it's super, super pretty, but I think that yeah. I would go for yeah. leather instead. It makes sense, it makes sense, it makes sense. A gold mini Chanel with caviar. Two gold bags? No, 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 a black with gold hardware. Oh, okay. sorry, sorry. Okay. Black caviar with gold hardware. Okay. The yeah. The mini, the mini. I think it's this an equivalent to the Toy Lulu. They're yes, quite similar. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I just... I agree with your choice. I'm a Chanel girl. I'm yeah, always I know. A Chanel. I'm I'm right now like juggling between brands, but I definitely I'm a Chanel lover at heart. Yeah, love me too, it way me more too, than Agnes. So the next one is gonna be a very heartwarming bag. So I think it's important to always have a bag that you know that you don't have to worry much about it, and you can wear it everywhere in any type of situation. If it's raining, snowing, grocery shopping, that type of thing. So I thought about going and getting a Speedy from Louis Vuitton, 25 in Damien Urbain. I don't know which one would be yours. So mine would be something that I actually do right now. It's my micro, the black, oh, the one I was wearing yesterday. Yeah. It's the, I, I have it here somewhere. Just no, it's the, downstairs. Okay. Yeah, so it's the kind of bag that I just put it on and I forget about it. I have my car there and it's the bag that I take it with me whenever I'm you not know, in the mood. I, it's really funny because Hunter is always carrying <laughs> that bag and Hunter is, it's he's way taller than Polo. He's like, and the bag is two. like, six two. And the bag is like, I this swear, size. it's like this size. <laughs> and it looks like a credit card on him. It's so funny. And I don't know why you make him carry the bag all the time. I forget around. And he's, <laughs> poor guy. It's he looks so perfect. funny. <laughs> because it's such a small bag and he's always having Aww. it around. He's a good husband. It's yeah, because sometimes, is. let's say, we go, like, upstairs. We were upstairs in the restaurant. And then we went downstairs mm. to check, his, uh, yeah. check it and out. And you left it upstairs. And I left it down. So he brought it down for me. So, yeah. It's yeah, cute. Paul, when we were in Paris, he was carrying carrying my Birkin around all the time because I was filming and I needed both hands and the Birkin it doesn't have a strap so he was carrying the bag and I realized how small the Birkin is on him it's yeah. so funny he looks yeah and yeah. Hunter is big he's bulky like he's a big guy oh by the way my answer I said caviar mini but I'm also open for a lamb skin I think the lamb skin is gorgeous yes for the black knight <laughs> lamb skin is way better I'm open to it the next one would be a fun bag like something that you would like to add I would probably pick something with colors so which fun bag would you add? So I actually just realized I have almost the same as my, my fun bags are my micro collection. I would say it's the full collection. Can it be? It's a small bag anyways. A micro? The my, my micro collection. You've seen my micro collection. Yeah, but they're all neutrals. I know, but they're fun because yeah, they don't fun. fit anything. They don't fit anything Yeah, but it's all. what I like. I actually want one. It's so, I recommend it. So my micro collection is my fun kind of like, it, they don't do anything, but I still, they are the ones I always choose to wear. Yeah, I agree. So I you would choose a micro bag? Uh, yeah, my micro collection. Only one. <laughs> no cheating. That box that comes with no. four. <laughs> you know that box that comes with yeah. four? <laughs> no, no cheating, only one. <laughs> okay, well, my I would say my beige micro bag. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I would go for my new green classic flap, like something fun. I would love to add a little bit of color or the blue one. Yeah. I'm not sure if I would choose the blue one or this one, but definitely I would add some color, color. whichever I would find first probably. Uh, but I would add another classic flap because I love classic flaps. Yes. I love them. So it would be probably this one right now because I'm really in love with it. You know, in our bag that I can see being really cute for you, like a, a pastel yellow. That's my next choice. So the last bag that we're gonna pick is uh, a. Oh bonus. really? I yeah. didn't know. 
Yeah. Hey, we know each other so well. That's crazy. I, that's I didn't even read. I promise you, I started to God. You didn't? No. Oh, that's good. I started to God. Hunter was filtering, so yeah. she didn't know yeah. my pics, and yeah. I don't know her pics. Yeah, but that's so funny. The next bag is a bonus bag, so anything that you could think of, and I wanted to go with the yellow Lady that's Dior so funny. that that's I so saw funny. in New York, so I definitely want that bag. Yeah, you know, it will look so cute. Yeah, because I really your want collar it. Done, it will look good. But I, I don't like want to spin on bags. Like, after the Green Closet Club, I really want to take it slow. <laughs> um, but I definitely want that she yellow. says that, but she ends up always buying it. I know. It's so bad. I need someone to control me. <laughs> you need me. I'm so conservative. You make me spend more. <laughs> well, it's her money, so. <laughs> I'm just <You're>... kidding, no. though. <laughs> you are very enabling. Like, every time that I send you something, like, please tell me not to buy them. She like, can't with the match shoes. Why I not? <laughs> I told you. I told you, please. Tell me to not buy them. You were like, oh, but they're so pretty. Go get them. If she was in the financial situation, I would say no, but she can get it. Why not? You know? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Which one would be yours? Oh, my. Oh, it's like an extra bag, yeah? Yeah. You can think of anything, like, it doesn't matter which category it fits on, it's just an extra bag that you think that you miss on the I collection. I think that I would need a Delphio, just something, the Deville? yeah, something that I, for, that I need to fit a lot. Like uh, a tote. Like a tote. Okay. I, I would fit a tote, a leather one. Yeah, maybe, like, I'm so boring. My collection is probably too boring for most of you girls and boys. Me too. Yeah, yeah, I would choose a Delvio just because, I don't know, if I want to go to the beach or something, the XL plastic flap, is it still a flap? The tote is just easy to kind of, like, Yeah, you just throw things yes. inside. Like, my, my Deville is super comfortable for traveling. Yeah. I really love it. Yeah. The only bad thing is, like, when you travel with someone else, example, Polo, and you have that bag, he's like, oh, water bottle, and he throws a water that, bottle. That's heavy. And then he's like, oh, my book, oh, my iPad, oh, my computer, and then it's a massive, heavy thing. Yeah. So he, I'm end up like, okay, then you grab you it. You carry it. Yeah. If you want me to I have all that, you like, carry it. I have my wallet, my phone, and a charger, and maybe my iPad, and then he throws all his stuff inside, and it gets so heavy, so. Yeah, I get it. gets it. heavy. I get it, I get it. Yeah, so I would choose a leather deal because the leather lasts longer. It's yeah, I agree. And all that. I agree. I agree. That's it. So yeah, that's it. Those were our choices. But I would like if you could also participate on this and yes. maybe put in the comments your 10 bags that you choose. I'm going to leave the list of the categories so you can also fill it up. I think it would be a lot of fun to see what everyone else would I choose. I know, I know. Because I know that I love neutrals and I, I'm i very basic and I think very predictable in terms of the bags that I chose. But I would love to know what you guys would get. I'm surprised that she's very, very similar to me because I thought that she was going to go with crazy bags or something like that, but she didn't. I, I tried to really think of not the cool bags. answer, yeah. but the actual things that I would choose. Exactly. I could go all cool and choose like very cool answers, yeah. but that wouldn't be realistic. I agree. You know? Yeah. So I try to be real. So let us know what you would choose in the comments. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And also consider subscribing yes. to George's channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave you two videos here if you're not done. And yeah, thank you and see you on the next one. Bye. Mwah.